Thanks for tuning in. Another week, another Fit Friday. We're gonna go right into our workout today that's gonna focus on the upper body and core work. So to do this workout today, you need either a resistance band like this one that you can get at our Cardon Conditioning website, or you can utilize some free weights, a remote, whatever you have handy, okay? We're gonna start though with a bicep curl. So to do that, we're going to hook our band. If you have this tile of band, you're gonna put one foot through the loop, making sure that it's right in the arch of that foot. You're gonna plant it down on the ground, okay? And then you're gonna sit nice and tall. Good, so your shoulders are gonna be down and back, your belly button is in and up. We're gonna have our elbows locked at our side and we're actually gonna use both arms here, curling up and down, up and down. So we've done these bicep curls before if you've tuned into our videos. Nice and basic and you probably feel pretty comfortable at this pace by now. So I'm gonna switch it up on you, okay? I want you to go up for two counts and then down. So we're slowing it down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down, good. Just that little change in pace, adding a little more control to the movement, you'll really feel the difference, good. And up, hold it up right here and pulse toward your body. Little mini curls as you might call them. Still got those nice strong wrists. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake out that arm. Gonna switch it to the other side, okay? So, we're picking up that band, we're putting it on that other foot. You have those weights, you're already here, you're ready to go, okay? So, arch of the foot, we plant the foot down on the ground, shoulders down and back, belly button in and up, smile on your faces, elbows at your side, we curl up and down, up and down, good. How do they feel? Feel pretty basic? And maybe not. If you are feeling like this is a really good workout right now, I want you to stay at this pace. But if not, you need a little more challenge today. We're gonna slow it down. We're gonna go up, up, down, down. Up, good, down, and down again. Awesome. Hold it up here and do those little baby pulses, those little mini curls, keeping the wrist straight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Okay, so that focused on those biceps. So next we gotta hit the triceps, the muscles along the backs of the arms, okay? So to do that, again, we've done them before, but if not, or if your brain's a little foggy or fuzzy, your memory's not <laughs> helping you out right now, I'm gonna intro it. So hand goes up through the top loop, we cross it over. If you have a resistance band at home, same thing. You're just going to hold on and anchor it up near your shoulder, okay? So it's anchoring up. You're grabbing with that hand. We're going to work. I'll turn so you can see. Elbow at the side. We pull down and up. Down and up. Now this one, we are definitely going to practice slowing down because I feel like this exercise in particular it's easier to let the momentum and the band do most of the work. So we're gonna slow it down, it's gonna look like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, good. You should have some resistance, a little pull in that band at all times. Good, up, good, hold it down and pulse it out. Pulse it down, rather. Down, down. Elbow staying where it's at. You're just kicking that hand back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back to start. Shake it out. Switch over to the other side. So that arm that you just worked, that hand goes through that top loop. You cross it over your chest. Grabbing up, elbow locks in at the side. We pull down and up. A few at regular pace just to get us going here. Getting those 
arms warmed up since we didn't do a very specific warm up today. Good. All right, we're going to slow it down starting with this one. We pull down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. You're still sitting tall, watching that form and that posture. Down, down, up, up, hold this one down, and we're going to do those little pulses. Elbow stays at the side, you're just pressing back, and back, back, and back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake out the arm. All right. How are your arms feeling? <laughs> So this is an upper body and core focused workout, so we're hitting those arms a little bit harder right off the bat, but we're going to give them a little bit of a break, okay? Just a little bit. So you can set that band off to the side. We're going to focus on some core work here while sneaking in some leg work. So you're going to sit tall, belly button in and up, and I want you to just start with a march, lifting those knees up and up. Good. Making sure that foot's getting off of the ground. Good. Can you hold one up? And then can you switch it? So notice shoulders are down and back, spines tall. You're sitting nice and tall. You're going to switch and switch. Little to no movement happening up here up top. This core is firing up. You might slightly lean back. <sighs> Alternating which foot is off the ground. Now, if you need to just do one at a time, lifting one foot off the ground, staying at that march, you can. Just make sure you're hinging back a bit to engage those abdominals a little more. Five, hold on if you need to. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Whew. All right, how are we feeling? Can we go back to our upper body? We're going to focus on those shoulders. So band comes back into play here. Anchor it down underneath one foot. Okay? You sit it down on the ground. Holding on to that top loop or the free weight if you have it. Palms face back behind you. Shoulders are going to stay down and back. We're going to pull up and down. Now check out my wrists. Nice and straight, right? Trying to see my little reflection, make sure they look straight in the video. Pulling up and down, up and down. It's gonna be really tempting to wanna to shrug your shoulders up, keep them down. Three, two, and one. We're gonna slow it down. Up, good, down. Not too many of these, up and down. Good, up, down. We're gonna just gonna do one more. Up and down. Good. Switch sides. Over here, the band goes. You always have the option too to do these without the band. So if you want to just sit tall and just do this with no weight, um, feel free. It's another good option and you'll still get those shoulders firing up. Okay? So we have that band in the arch of that foot. We sit it down, shoulders down and back, palms face back behind us, and we go up. And down, taking the elbows out to the sides. Hopefully, you're already looking at your wrists to check if they're straight or not. If not, that's your reminder or your hint. Good. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. And now we slow it down. Go up. Two. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down, two, two more. Down. And up. And down. Good. Pick that band up. Set it off to the side. Shake out those shoulders. You get another little break for that upper body. If you need to do a little self-massage here, you can. You need to get a sip of water, you can. We're going to go um, sneak in some more leg work and some more core work. So, to sneak in that core work here, you're going to sit at the edge of your seat, okay? Like you are so excited, you can't even wait to hear what I'm going to say next, okay? You're just really intrigued, but you're sitting tall, okay? 
We're gonna kick one foot up and down, up and down. So really, any movement that you do, sitting at the edge of your seat, you're automatically gonna engage that core a little more because you're having to stay up in your good upright position. Up, one more, and then we switch to the other side right here. Not too many individually, because we're gonna try and combine in a second. Good. Think about that core and that posture. Two and one. Okay, I want you to try both legs together. If that doesn't feel safe for you, you can alternate your kicks, okay? If you are gonna try it, it's gonna look like this. You might need to hold on to the side of your chair or put your hands on your hips, whatever feels best, but you're gonna kick both up and down. If you're in a seat with a cushion, it is going to be harder to do this. So you might need to scoot a little bit back, um, but we're sitting nice and tall still. We kick up, down. Try to stay off that chair back though. Even if you're holding on here, you're gonna get a good amount of core work. We're sitting tall. I can feel my core working right now. Four, three, keep going, two, and one. Awesome, shake it out. One more exercise that's really two exercises combined. Move number one, your hands are gonna be out at your side. We press overhead, back down. Overhead, back down, good. Sneaking in some more shoulder work and actually some back work too because we're gonna go up and pull down. Press up, pull down, good. Two more, last one here. Bring your arms out to your side. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and relax. Squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. It's not a big movement. Not at all, real small actually. I'll turn to the side so you can see how small of a movement this really is. Good, last one. Shake it out, wiggle it out. Okay, we're gonna try to combine those, okay? If you need to do one or the other, that's fine. I understand it may not be comfortable for you to lift your arms overhead. If that's the case, you're gonna have your arms at your side, lift them up and down or up, squeeze back, okay? Always have options. Um, if you have questions about your options, feel free to send us an email, but we're gonna do what we can today and go right into combining those movements. So, arms come to the side, we reach up, pull, pull down rather, squeeze, release. Push up, pull down, squeeze, release. Up, down, squeeze, release. Good. You've got four more. Up, down, squeeze, last three. Make sure you're breathing, two. Awesome, last one here. Good, shake it out, wiggle it out. We're gonna stretch out that upper body and then you are set for your weekend, okay? All right, we're sitting tall. Arms come out to our sides. We're gonna reach up nice and high, out to the side we go. So we're reaching out to the side, okay? Wiggle those fingers. Good, just palms rotate back, wiggle them again. And now we're gonna do something that's really fun. We're gonna roll those wrists around. You need to bring them in a little closer to you, you can. Whew. And now we're gonna do something that's gonna feel really weird. We're gonna switch directions. Good, we're gonna shake out the arms. Shake them out, wiggle them out. Good, reaching down beside us. So notice you're really lengthening through those fingertips, like you're trying to reach them down to the ground. Palms go back, forward, back and forward. So rotating the palms forward and back, you're gonna get a little twist in those upper arms, those biceps and triceps are gonna stretch out a little bit. Good, good, good. Let's hit those shoulders a little bit. Arm, we're gonna reach it across the body. Other arm comes up to hug it in toward us. If this is uncomfortable, you can always just reach around the body or give yourself just a little shoulder massage here. 
Okay? So whatever you need here. Open it up and switch sides. So again, arm reaches across the body, other arm pulls it in closer. This is uncomfortable. You're reaching around a hug. Or doing a shoulder massage. Or both. <laughs> Relax. All right, two deep breaths. And we're going to do fun deep breaths today. We're going to inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to wiggle and shake it out. Okay? So one more, nice and big. And wiggle and shake it out. Awesome job. Thanks for tuning in again. Make sure that you're heading over to our website, getting yourself one of these bands if you haven't taken advantage of that already. I hope that you're feeling a little bit stronger today and ready to take on the world. Um, I will see you next time. Bye.